everybody, it's Linda. So now that Thanksgiving has come and gone, I've taken down my Thanksgiving decoration from my front window and I'm going to start on my next project. I like to decorate the window in my home that faces the street with different holiday themed items just to hang in the window. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree uh, a while back and I actually have a couple of them laying around and just to save on time for this project I went ahead and pre-painted this in red so you do want to let it dry thoroughly if you're going to follow along with me you're basically going to need two or three different colors of paint some sort of a wood shape you can use any kind of wood shape that you want and also you want some painters tape so follow along with me if you want to do this project and I will definitely um, give you all the steps as I go along. So now your next step is you're going to use your painter's tape and space out where you're going to put your next color of paint. So I'm just going to start right in the middle of this wooden ornament and just put a piece of tape down. I'm going to use my scissors so I don't make a huge mess here. And the way you're spacing it out is you're going to use a small piece of tape to kind of give you a guide. So you just put a piece of tape here right up against the first one and then you're going to put your next piece right next to that and you're going to keep going until you have the whole thing covered I'm going to move that over a little bit because I have a little bit of space that I want to cover go. So there's the second piece. You pull up your spacer piece, put it next to the next piece, and so on until you finish up covering the whole piece with your spacing. So this is what it'll look like when you're done adding your painter's tape. Now, make sure you're using good quality painter's tape, not the stuff from the Dollar Tree. I learned that the hard way. It just doesn't stick as well and you'll get some bleeding from your paint. Um, also, you wanna make sure that you press down really good to make sure that it is really stuck on there good and there's no chance of your next layer of paint bleeding out underneath the tape. So for the next step you want some sort of a contrasting color. So I'm going with a wine colored paint and you're just going to paint in the space between your pieces of tape and just make sure that you let this dry thoroughly. I might do two coats on this. I will make that decision once this dries. But again, just making sure that you cover this pretty thoroughly in between the pieces of tape. And then once it's completely dry, then we will pull off the tape and go to the next step. This does take a little bit of work and a little bit of time because you do have to have everything dry um, in between each step, but really it's so, so worth it. Um, the finished product looks really nice and I'm looking forward to hanging this in my window once it's all completed. And I actually think I might do two of these. So we'll see if I decide to do that. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and see if I want to add another coat of this color before moving on. So 
So now I'm going to peel off the painter's tape. And hopefully the lines are nice and crisp. Sometimes it's not perfect, but that's okay. Crafts are not always perfect, but it's nice to have homemade items to decorate your home or to give as gifts. So I'm just peeling this tape. This is all dry. And then I'm going to begin the next step. You're going to take painter's tape now and you're going to do horizontal lines across this ornament or your piece of wood, whatever it is that you're using. And go back in with your same dark color. Now, if you don't have a wine colored paint and you only have red, you can mix some black paint in with it. Um, whatever works for you. So here we go, I'm gonna do my horizontal lines and you wanna just try to get in the middle of this piece. And again, a small spacer. And just keep going until you have the whole thing covered once again. And then what I'm gonna do is take my paintbrush and color this in completely because you want that darker color to be in this entire area. So I'm just doing my spacer piece again. I'll just do a small piece for the bottom here. Go. And then I'm going to do the top. And then I'm going to start painting. And this really needs to dry very well. I cannot stress that enough. You really want to make sure that your paint is totally dry before you go ahead and try and go to the next step. Don't be tempted to rush through this process. So it looks like I'm gonna have just a little piece at the top and that's fine. Because actually this part later, I think I'm going to cover so that it will look like an ornament. So again, just take your paintbrush and just start painting and paint the entire thing. I may do two coats, I may not, it depends. Again, once I let it dry, then it kind of gives me an idea of what it looks like and if I like the coverage or not, depending. So um, I may paint another layer I'm not really sure so I'm going to finish this and I'll come back when I'm ready for the next step so now the next step is you're going to cover the wood where the original color was and you can kind of see it right here the lighter color so you're going to cover that with painters tape and then we're going to be painting the darkest color that you choose. So I'm going to be using black. And so right now I'm just placing my tape. And again, you want to press really hard to the edges just to make sure you get as little bleed through as possible. And you're leaving your original tape on there from this last step that you did. 
um, just because now you want to get a different color on there. So I'm just going to place the rest of my tape on here. One more piece on the end here, covering this up. doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but make sure you're pressing down on your edges. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the last layer on here. And one more piece go. And there we go. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to paint the black in any of the areas where there is no painter's tape. So basically it's just these squares. And again, I may do a second coat uh, just to get really good coverage, but We'll see how I feel about it once this first coat dries. And I'll come back when it's time to peel off all my tape. So as you can see, my paint has fully dried with my Buffalo check pattern. And now I'm gonna add my words that I cut on my Cricut. Now, if you do not have a Cricut, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you what else you can do um, or what else you can use. So grab any gift bag that you might have laying around and just cut out an image. These are super cute. You can use any of these, cut this out and then you could just glue it to the front of your piece of wood. And if you like, you can add a layer of Mod Podge over it. So I'm going to just peel away my transfer paper, get this all on my ornament here, and then I'm going to finish embellishing it. So one of the things, uh, to do to make the top actually look like an actual ornament is either glue a piece of tin foil on there, something silver or gold, whatever you want. Um, I actually found these cookie sheets at the dollar store and they had a design on them, which I thought was really cool. So, I'm gonna cut a piece of this to put on the top. All you wanna do is just take it and trace it on there. And I've already done one. So you're just gonna trace it on the back with any kind of a marker that you have and then cut it out. Just be careful because it's aluminum and it's a little bit sharp. So you want to do that, cut it out, and then just glue it on there with your glue gun or whatever type of glue you want to use that works. And then I just cut a hole through it so that I'll be able to hang this at some point. So just making sure it fits properly and that I cut it correctly and then I'm just gonna add some hot glue to it and be careful it's hot even through the aluminum you're gonna feel the heat of the of the hot glue so again I use my finger protectors for this and just stick that on there just like that and then you can use a piercing tool or a scissor, the end of a scissor, whatever you want to just cut the hole through here. I actually have a tool that cuts holes, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then you just wanna embellish however you want. I'm going to add some greenery here, which I think will look nice, and then probably a pine cone in the middle of that. So 
skin. I'm gonna protect my finger from the glue because it's very hot. And one more piece. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more just to decorate it. Do this however you want, whatever you may have or pick up. The dollar store has great holiday picks to choose from. So you can get something that you want to use. It's your decoration and you go with whatever color scheme you like. And then you just finish it up and then it'll be ready for hanging. So this is going in my front window. And I'm gonna put a pine cone there just to add a little bit more interest to it. I'm gonna hold that there for a few seconds. So that's it. That's how it looks. And I'm gonna show you another one that I did that is going to go in my window in January after the holidays are over. And this is it. I did different shades of blue and my words are silver and I just added some embellishments on it. So that's it guys. I hope you were able to follow along and maybe make one of these for your holiday decorations and I will see you again soon. Bye. For the snow effect on the second one, I just dipped a paintbrush in white paint, flicked it on there, and used the back of the paintbrush dipped in paint for the larger dots. Thank you for watching and happy crafting everyone. Bye!